Hello, my name is Tyler Scott. I am a 21-year-old film student at Howard University, and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Hello, my name is Che Nimhard. I am a 21-year-old international relations and anthropology student, also from Howard University. And we are here today to talk to you about our upcoming concept for a film. My interest in Japanese culture really started around the time of Kanye West's uh, graduation album. For the album artwork, he used a, an artist um, that comes from Japan named Takashi Murakami. And, you know, I really liked the album artwork, so I started researching Takashi Murakami, found out that he was from Japan, and then just really started delving into the Japanese culture, studying the transportation system, the architecture, uh, just the, the, the city, nightlife, um, just a, a lot of different things. And, and we both have studied uh, Japanese language um, while at Howard. So we, you know, we really both just use the internet as a tool to kind of gain knowledge on Japanese culture without having to necessarily go to J Japan. Mm -hmm. For our generation, the internet has been a huge tool. It has really just presented everything at our fingertips. Uh, a lot of older generations had to, you know, go to the library, search encyclopedias for information. But we had this this great tool that gave us information like instantly. You know, so anytime we wanted to learn anything, we could just go to Google and do a, a simple search and, and, and get the information. So, you know, just growing up with that has been a great tool. Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, our generation relates to the internet because we were fortuitous enough to grow up with it. As a child and into my teenage years, my brother actually studied Japanese in California when we lived together and being exposed to what he brought home from school and to the books that he read and the anime and everything else that he did, you know, I was able to really get my first taste of Japanese culture. But that being said, when I came to the internet with this new found, you know, interest, I was able to really see that there was more to Japanese culture than just your typical anime. There was more to Japanese culture than sushi and, you know, freeze-dried seaweed. It was more like an experience than, you know, a, a quandary. I was able to really see that there is a whole, you know, world of facts and traditions and taboos that exist beyond the veil of the Pacific Ocean. The impact of this film is actually twofold. Not only do we want to exemplify and present this cross-continental cultural exchange of American heritage and Japanese fashion, but we also want to represent two men of color traveling abroad with an idea to do something positive and actually having it come together into the final project. We want to be able to show that our generation, who has many different people with many great you know, concepts and ideas sitting around in their homes that if you come out and you actually put the full faith and you know, productivity behind what you're doing, then you can have something in the end. With this film, we really want to capture the cross-cultural exchange happening now uh, between Japan and America. Um, it's, it's really something that we definitely see occurring, but we haven't really see, seen anybody document it. Um, so we want to go to factories here in the U.S. and you know really study how people create these vintage apparel here in the U.S. and how it's such a, a big market for it in Japan. And you know people in America are really you know purchasing these items um, that are popular in Japan and, and being produced in Japan, and not even really realizing that a lot of these things stem from American culture. You know in the past. The main purpose of the film is to be able to represent this exchange that's happening on a global scale that almost no one knows about. In my personal research of Japanese culture, I really discovered a fascination and admiration for both their film and their, their culture around respect for your elders, seniority, and proving true skills and craftsmanship with your work, you know, whether it took 10 days or 10 years, you know, the Japanese have really prided themselves on creating a, I guess, a status quo of who can call themselves a master by how much time you put in to do something over and over. And then also filmmakers like Beat Takeshi that have really dedicated their lives to, you know, portraying the raw, you know, essence of what it is to be a, a Japanese person, a Japanese gangster, Japanese you know, police officer is something that really helped me kind of see it through their eyes. I think something that Tyler and I really wanted to touch on with, you know, our shared admiration of Japanese culture was this 
discovery of America's influence and specifically their fashion. What, what I mean by that is that, you know, when you look at Japanese fashion a lot today and also American fashion, there's this huge, this huge inspiration drawn from, you know, America's past, specifically post-World War II, 40s, 50s, and 60s stuff revolving around things like the Happy Days look or even Apocalypse Now and, you know, the collegiate feel back then. So you would see different brands that kind of represent a Hell's Angel kind of like biker feel or, you know, the Princeton button-up style or even the, the factory workers like damaged jeans, you know, PF Flyers and heavy duty Carhartt, Red Wings, things like that, L.O. being large parkas and things like that. And we, we saw this, this influence of American heritage and just wanted to kind of track like, like why is it there, how did it get there, and you know, how does it affect us today? What we are looking for from supporters is help uh, for us to acquire the tools that we need to make this big project a reality. Uh, we need help with camera equipment uh, for domestic shooting and shooting abroad. Also, we need help with editing expenses uh, for the future film. And also just making sure we have all costs covered for the international travel. We want to show our peers that if you really take the time to plan something out from start to finish and are realistic in your plans, that you can really achieve uh, whatever it is that you're trying to do. So what me and Che have done is, you know, we've been planning this project for about four months and, you know, now it's coming to the point where we are really uh, presenting it to the pub public and we really see that it's possible that this could come true and we're just asking for your support and uh, helping us make this a reality. And, and now that we're back taking on this project again and we're coming now at full force, what we need is your help to really cross that finish line with what you can contribute to us or what you can help us gain through whether it's networking or any other type of support, you can be the changing factor in us making this project a reality. Testing.